Hey guys, I'm talking about one of the coolest new features in OBS, that is the new tech NDI. And I wanna show you guys how to do live annotations. Really cool stuff, let's get into it. So I have the official NDI Telestrator app. And that looks a little crazy, so what I'm gonna do before we get too into it is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, there's a drop down menu where I can choose any NDI source that I want to, to see and annotate on top of, boom right there, right? So this is an NDI source. I basically auto, auto selected it on my network and I'm choosing any NDI source that I want. Just chose one, which is great. And now I can annotate on top of that source. So boom, you can see here that not only am I annotating on top of that source, but I'm also bringing in the NDI Telestrator um, right here as well. So you can see that kind of on top. Mike, turn the NDI Telestrator layer off real quick, just, just for a sec. Boom, so you can bring in the NDI Telestrator alpha channel and put that on top of anything that your producer is using, or you can have access to just this. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and that, Mike, I'll ask you to turn it on and off uh, uh, periodically, I guess. Um, so here's our NDI camera right over here. It's pretty cool. Boom shakalaka. And there we go, look at that. So it's pretty cool allows you to do that. You can choose between a bunch of different colors. You can do shapes, boom. You can do, uh, you can quickly highlight things as opposed to, oh, I'm still on shapes, but you can do highlighting instead of um, doing uh, like raw, you know, panning midship. Uh, you can do an eraser. That's kind of cool. That'll, oh, that's kind of cool. I never actually used that one. This is like straight lines. Um, so you've got a whole bunch of features here, but it's actually quite simple. The other thing that you can do that I like is you can hit this picture button and boom, now you've taken a picture and you can annotate on top of it. And the reason why that's such a good feature is because if you, you know, something's happening and it happens real fast, you may want to just take a snapshot of it real quick and then kind of take, talk about what just happened. So that's the way the NDA Telestrator works. Now let's show how we can bring it into OBS and use it there. So one of the things I wanna mention it before everyone gets mad at me in the comments, yes, the Telestrator is $500 from New Tech. So I wanted to show you really quickly, there's one called Panimation NDI, okay? Pana, Pan, P-A-N, Pan Am, Pan Am NDI. And they changed their name, it used to be called Panimation. Uh, and it is only $199. The, the software itself, I think, is like, whoa. I've always looked at it and been like, wow, this is like really complicated. But it can do a ton of amazing stuff. And it supports NDI. So you, if you just want to do annotation, you can see here they've got a great little annotation tool. And it has like so many other things that you can do. It's pretty incredible. So you can actually just get the Telestrator, by the way for 95 and then there's a telestrator pro for 295 so that's a lot cheaper i just want to let you guys know for obs users who want this you can get the pan am ndi for just 95 bucks so let's choose the scene we want to add it to i've actually already got it added here so i'm going to remove it and add it again just so you guys can see that so ndi source call it telestrator and i have the ndi plugin installed I'm going to select NDI Telestrator. I'm not gonna do low bandwidth mode, I'm just gonna leave it in the normal mode, but you can do low bandwidth. And now, boom, I am annotating directly, and let me turn highlighter off so it's, and I'll do yellow. Boom, I am annotating inside OBS. So everything in OBS now has this annotation layer. So it's pretty cool stuff. You can now annotate, like you can even annotate on top of a video, right? Or on top of anything you want. Like I like to do like a, a presentation like this. Now you do have to add it to each scene. So let's go ahead and add an NDI source, an existing NDI source, choose Telestrator, and then just maximize it to fit your setup. Now I'm just annotating on this source, which is pretty cool. So that's the way it works. It's really, really great stuff. And uh, I'm a huge fan of NDI Telestration. So that's just one really great NDI feature 
that's built into OBS. We're gonna talk about more in this course, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and we're gonna show you guys even more great NDI tools coming out for OBS.